perfect time for coffee. Got your coffee? Bah. No sugar. They say there are plenty of ways to skin a cat or write a web application. And at Modus Create, we built uh, an interesting application using an interesting stack and um, for Modi Directory. Modi Directory is an internal app that helps us bring our distributed teams even closer together by using a bunch of data that we that we create on Slack and GitHub um, or Google, Harvest, Hey Taco, and Taco is a thing at Modus too. So to build Modi Directory, we had to combine front end and back end and, and combine all that data. So on front end, we use React. Lots of people know React is phenomenal. I love React, but we also paired it with Ionic. And that's kind of a new thing now because Ionic opened itself to other frameworks and Angular uh, because they are now working with web components. So it's, it's really open to standards. You can use it with React or Vue or Angular, or you can use it without any other framework, just with HTML and JavaScript because it's just you know open standard web components. There's a lot to like about Ionic. Uh, I like the uh, theming capabilities. Uh, out of the box, Ionic comes with predefined themes for various devices. So Android and iOS are not going to look the same. They're going to uh, follow the usual uh, UX patterns for each device. But the way they, they, they've done that is, is very specific. They use CSS variables or um, CSS custom properties. What's special about CSS, CSS custom properties is that they do not need a build step. So, you know, you can fiddle with colors and, and, and uh, different styling patterns, sizes, uh, font types, anything right from your browser. Uh, even better, you know, no build step. So builds are faster. Uh, you know exactly what to expect. You know, one would say, hey, but CSS properties are not supported in IE9. We are building this for mobile. And we already to ship to phenomenal new browsers like Chrome and Safari. So we don't really have to care uh, about IE9. I'm sorry if you do. So another thing that I really, really like about Ionic is that it's really properly built. Now, defined properly. Um, I want to say that it's built into a lot of chunks, and it does lazy, lazy loading uh, by default. Now, I don't need any special magic for lazy loading, but I do appreciate that it's built in um, small chunks, so I can load just the things that I need. And you know, it's gonna follow up the uh, dependency tree, but uh, it's not this one humongous uh, package that you need to load, um, you know, for example, at 600 kilobytes, right into browser's memory, and then uh, use the framework for, from that big monolithic package. Now, Ionic um, ships into hundreds of small packages, modules, that are uh, imported as needed. It's a great feature, and, you know, especially now with HTTP2 as a standard, you know, that totally makes sense. For Modi Directory, um, Ionic 4 really helped us integrate with our design system, and we were really able to prototype our application super, super quick. And the, uh, the components that come with Ionic are really amazing, you know? And um, another thing that I like is that they let you integrate with any other, re in this case, React uh, libraries, like um, React Window or um, React Idle. So, you know, you can just plug and play all the features that you need. You know, drag and drop if you need it, um, or, you know, as I said, list virtualization, super easy with Ionic. You don't really need to use anything that's, you know, either built in or you just fully customized. To us at Modus Labs, being able um, to come into the project, you know, out of the blue and uh, make meaningful contributions is very important because we work with, with talent that comes, you know, for uh, a few days or a week or two. Uh, we never know when someone's going to be on the bench and people on the bench are helping create phenomenal software, right? And by creating environments that are easy to jump in and leave, 
um, we are really positioning ourselves to be successful. And you know, we love to do that for uh, other projects too. And Ionic is not the only awesome thing about the stack we use to build Modi directory. Now, where does our business logic come from? You know, we can do a number of things. We can put business logic in the app. We can uh, also contact a bunch of third-party APIs directly, but that's really not convenient. Con contacting uh, third-party APIs directly creates a special set of problems. Like, we don't know what kind of latency we are going to hit with each API. We don't know about the rate limiting. Uh, we have to worry about tokens. Uh, and just, you know, a bunch of uh, different things. It's a lot easier if we could uh, concatenate all that data in a special data layer. This is why we used Cloudflare workers. Now, Cloudflare workers are a really new and hip thing in the cloud. Um, it's like service workers, but not in a browser, in the cloud, on a network of servers. So Cloudflare workers run on a V8 engine, and it's all JavaScript, all new, a new version, no build steps, um, no express or any middleware. It just works just like writing service workers. Uh, I want to say even easier, you know, who's not afraid of service workers? Everybody uses some kind of work box or something. Uh, this is really simple and straightforward. You get, uh, you get a request and you return a response, and it's very asynchronous. So Cloudflare Workers is a place where we connected all the third-party APIs to the app because workers are on the CDN, meaning uh, 80, 90 something servers in the world, uh, the network is going to pick up the closest one to me and the usual latency is going to be probably under 30 milliseconds, which is super quick. You know, it's worth offloading some of the business logic from the front end over to Cloudflare workers because they are super quick and they out of scale. So this is what we've done. We put uh, all of these business logic in the cloud and we let Cloudflare workers connect to our third-party APIs, work out the data, and send that back to the client app. It's amazing. And it's super fast, really. You don't really have to change contacts. Oh, now I'm writing some backend code. No, this doesn't happen. You just write JavaScript. You just write business logic for your application. But it's not going to run on the client side. It's going to run in the cloud, like in the back end. Another thing that I really, really liked about using Cloudflare workers is how they integrate with other Cloudflare services. For example, one thing is caching. Uh, it's awesome that you can use Fetch API and set custom Cloudflare properties to Fetch API, and it's going to cache your response. And you can even choose how long to cache for various return times, like uh, maybe you don't want to cache uh, error 404 or 401 for a long time because that might go away. But 200, oh, you're free to cache that for a week or a month, you know, whatever you need. Um, that's That works really well. Another thing that I really, really liked about Cloudflare is Cloudflare Access. Now, Cloudflare Access allows us to protect the app. So we want to let just our employees to access the app and access all the data, valuable data that's inside. One of the beautiful things about Cloudflare Access is that um, you don't have to code anything. You just work out the uh, GUI, you, you enable Cloudflare Access for a particular path in your domain, and you enable the features. So for us, we enable single sign-on using Google services. And we enable custom token authentication for our services that we use for gathering the data. And those services have IP whitelisting and they have a bunch of custom security parameters to make it extra super secure. Um, and it only took, took five minutes to set it up. No coding. You don't have to be an engineer to protect your app. And that's what's beautiful about this. You know, as you can see with Monad Directory, everything we build needs to be 
time efficient. So with Ionic and React, we get phenomenal efficiency on the front end. With Cloudflare, we get super fast serverless with Cloudflare workers. Uh, we get phenomenal security with Cloudflare access and a bunch of cool performance and other security things through Cloudflare uh, palette of services. I really feel that this stack delivers on cutting down the development time, but it also helps bring best practices to any web product on the front end and on the back end. If you're happy with what I just presented, feel free to give it a try and let me know how it went. Mm -hmm.